we will continue our section by learning how to merge graphs so if you come to if you come to the project explorer section you see we have so many graphs i will advise that if you are doing any project you name your graphs so that you know what they are, each one is doing but let's say we have all these graphs and we want to merge some of them together so we come to graph window and then come to merge graph window and you can see that some graphs already have been selected so you, if you want to select more let's say all in project you should see all 13 graphs that we have here this will look a little crowded and difficult for you to see so let's just click ok and see how it comes up to be so you have it in here so you have all your plots on one but I wouldn't advise that you put 13 graphs maybe you need it for something but I don't think I'll do that so you can you can do that and the cool thing is you can you see you can edit each one separately on the merged graph so let's let's try it again graph merge graph windows open and let's go in for everything again um, let's just reduce everything to three let's so let's choose this one this one and this one so there let's just delete let's just delete so you just go to remove and you are just left with three now you see in three you can you can come to arrange settings and change how it's arranged you can choose number of rows number of columns so let's say we choose number of columns as three and then we can choose number of rows as one you get it this way you can also go for three and one you get it that way so you can put multiple graphs together this way and you can just go through all these properties the spacing how to put spacing in between the horizontal the vertical gap so let's let's just make this double and see something see the spacing increases so what i will entreat you is you just go over these or uh, you can change this to a portrait so if you're making it slim like this it's best to choose a portrait because now it's more expanded um, in the you can also choose specific dimensions because if you want to print to a specific paper or to something then you want to be precise with these things so it's it's a nice tool to know and that's why i wanted to throw it out there so you just click ok and now you have it in here so you can you can edit each one separately if you want so this will be so you see this one these are selected and you can change them in there so you have layer one selected you can make your changes or layer two you can make your changes and edit them together so that will be it for this lecture and see you in the next lecture